He has to pay some tax on other things. Some say that he does have time to Muslim extremists. I don't know. On a single night in 2016, over half a million people were experiencing homelessness in the United States of America. A majority of them staying in emergency shelters, transitional housing programs, or safe havens, and the rest in unsheltered locations. That, according to the recent 2016 Annual Homeless Assessment Report to Congress. Throughout the U.S., homelessness continues to be a national problem. The financial crisis of 2008 was a major contributing factor, as well as the lack of affordable housing, mental illness, alcoholism, poverty, and dysfunctional families. The National Alliance to End Homelessness estimates nearly 700,000 Americans experience homelessness on any given night in the country. As temperatures are dropping across the country, Many homeless people are struggling to find a warm, safe place to stay. A roof over their heads. We didn't have anywhere to go. I mean, we ran out of money, and um, we, one day we just found ourselves sleeping in the train station. You really don't want to fall asleep there. So you have to keep your eyes open and, you know, watch your surroundings, and it's, it's just really hard. I don't really look people in the eye anymore. I look away because I'm just embarrassed. I feel hurt on the inside. I don't feel like a man on the inside because I can't provide for my family, can't provide for my kids. In the last week of January 2016, when cities around the country took a tally of their street populations, they counted a total of 549,928 people living in some form of homelessness. 60% of people experiencing homelessness were men, while 40% were women. More than 90% of homeless women are victims of severe physical and sexual abuse. On the other hand, 15% of the homeless population are considered chronically homeless, those with a disability who have experienced homelessness for a year or longer, or at least four episodes of homelessness in the last three years. The report also shows that 355,212 people experiencing homelessness are individuals, accounting for 65% of the homeless population, most of them over the age of 24. There are 194,716 people in families with children experiencing homelessness, representing 35% of the homeless population. But the most disturbing of all is that about 50% of the homeless population is over the age of 50. They often face additional health and safety risks associated with age, are more prone to injuries from falls, and suffer from cognitive impairment, vision or hearing loss, major depression, and chronic conditions like diabetes and arthritis. Among the U.S. homeless are those who used to fight for their country, and now have to struggle for survival. About 8% of the homeless population are veterans. Washington, D.C. has the highest rate of veteran homelessness in the country. The interesting point is that 45% of homeless veterans are black or Hispanic. And while less than 10% of homeless veterans are women, the number is rising. Research indicates that those who served in the Vietnam and post-Vietnam era are at greatest risk of homelessness. War-related disabilities or disorders often contribute to veteran homelessness, including physical disabilities, post-traumatic stress disorder, depression and anxiety, and addiction. Behind these statistics, homeless children may be invisible to some, but nevertheless, the numbers are shockingly high. The National Center on Family Homelessness reports that one in 45 children experiences homelessness each year. This number amounts to a staggering 1.6 million children in America. Reports also indicate that 71% of homeless children are doubled up 
living with friends, family or non-relatives for economic reasons, placing them among the 6.8 million people who stay in living conditions they do not control. Oftentimes it's a family lives with relatives and then when that welcome wears out they're living in a car and then when the car uh, breaks down and I, we've lived this with a family this week when their car breaks down then they have nothing. Studies show that the chronic homeless adults of today were yesteryear's chronic homeless children and impoverished children. According to the Child Trends Data Bank, at the start of the 2013-2014 academic year, there were approximately 1.4 million children in the United States who reported to school and did not have an address to give to school authorities. When a student is homeless, on top of being going back for the first time, they are completely scared about telling people, someone finding out their situation. It's frightening for them. They don't want anyone to, to know. They are, in fact, homeless, living in a shelter, living in the street. Though the HUD figures show a 3% drop in the overall homeless population from January 2016, 15 states in the country, along with the District of Columbia, have seen increases in the number of people lacking permanent shelter. Among U.S. cities, California, with 118,142 people, is hosting America's largest homeless population. While Washington, D.C., with more than 14 percent, has seen the highest year-to-year -year increase. Even though big cities like New York and Los Angeles had bigger populations of homeless people than smaller cities, homelessness is a problem in towns of all sizes. In Honolulu, with a population of less than 400,000, there were nearly 5,000 homeless people. Although HUD's numbers are alarming enough, the number of people who are actually homeless might be higher than estimates suggest. The numbers come from annual point-in-time counts conducted in cities nationwide in January. During those counts, volunteers survey the number of homeless people living in emergency shelters or transitional housing, or on the street or other places not typically used as residences. People who lack permanent housing of their own but are staying with friends and family aren't counted, nor are people who are living in hotels or motels. Families are what are called the hidden homeless. They go to friend to friend to family to acquaintance for as long as they can until that line has ended for them and then they have really nowhere to go. That said, many poor people are at risk of homelessness. This is because it is hard for them to afford housing. The state of the nation's housing report says 11.4 million families in the U.S. are paying more than 50 percent of their income toward housing. D.C. is an example of what's happening in cities across the country. There's a severe lack of affordable housing. Um, I think anywhere in this city you see a lot of um, construction and building, but this is not affordable housing for the really low-income families and individuals that need access to those kinds of resources. The loss of jobs, bills higher than earnings, eviction by family members, abuse at home, incarceration, sickness, disability and mental issues, change in family status as well as drug and alcohol can trigger homelessness. Despite more than 500,000 homeless Americans and a national increase in unsheltered homelessness, the issue was largely ignored during presidential campaigns. The presidential election was full of distractions. Hillary Clinton's emails, Donald Trump's locker room talk, the day-to-day -day polling data, etc. U.S. President-elect Donald Trump who has built his brand on real estate, has not been quoted mentioning affordable housing so far to show how he could be out of touch with the needs of the most vulnerable. Though the total homeless population has fallen 11% since 2010, there are still more than half a million people in the U.S. of no fixed address. More than half a million people in the U.S. will go to sleep tonight without a roof over their heads.